Fly after recent rainfall and the quality is excellent. Look for firm dark green bunches that are free from yellowing. Delaware potatoes from the Mile Up growing region will also be in good supply for the next five to six weeks at your local supermarket or greengrocer. The sandy soil in the region is ideal for producing good sized clean potatoes. Delaware potatoes are a great all-rounder for cooking, so try them while they're available. There are also plenty of sweet, crisp Pink Lady apples from Donnybrook and Manjim Up in store. And with volumes up, prices have fallen. That's this week's wrap up from the markets. Experience the convenience and freedom of owning your own caravan. At Cameron Caravans, we can show you the entire Coromel range, from a simple weekender to a model with all the luxuries. We have a great selection of pre-owned vans. Cameron Caravans is also the place to find spare parts and accessories, including the full range of Waco fridges. If you love the caravanning lifestyle, you love the range, the deals and the people at Cameron Caravans Albany. Big W's Toy Spectacular, Australia's most loved toy event, is on now. This Wii Bundle includes Wii Console, Wii Remote, Wii Nunchuck, plus four games. Sensational value at just $3.88. Toy Spectacular, on now at Big W. From this, every parent's nightmare. To this, peace at last. <laughs> on 60 Minutes, how animals are taming the tantrum. It's not wacky. And no. giving these kids a happy life. Also, Big Brother's Reggie Bird and her battle with blindness. This is real. It's happening. 60 Minutes tonight. Police are hunting a group of thugs who attacked four American sailors on shore leave in Perth, slashing one with a pair of scissors. The attack happened at Perth train station about one o'clock this morning, leaving one of the visiting sailors with a cut to his cheekbone. Police are hunting three men and three women over the attack. Anyone with information can call Crime Stoppers. The arson squad is investigating a fire that caused more than $750,000 damage in Denmark overnight. Fire crews worked through the night to put out the blaze, but not before it all but destroyed a community centre and several offices. By the time the Denmark Volunteer Fire Service was called to the building at 9.30 last night, the blaze was out of control. It took about two hours to get it under control, but it took over six hours to, to get it to a fairly well extinguished position. The Denmark Community Environment Centre ruined. Neighbouring businesses damaged by smoke and heat. The damage bill is estimated at more than $750,000. The full back section is totally destroyed, but the guys managed to save the three shops on the front. Locals say the fire destroyed more than 20 years of community effort. Countless environmental maps, surveys and records gone up in smoke. Oh, I just couldn't believe it. Couldn't believe it. It's just sort of makes your heart sink. It's just a huge loss, particularly to the environment group, um, but also to the town of Denmark. Police have sealed off the area until the arson squad has investigated the cause of the fire. Alison Miller, Nine News. He's a little shaky on his feet and sticks very...